Number 59, diffraction spreading for a flashlight is insignificant compared with other limitations in, okay. To show this, calculate the minimum angular spreading of a flashlight beam that is originally five centimeters in diameter with an average wavelength of 600 nanometers. So for the concept on this problem, please check out number 57 and specifically number 58, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna run through this one now in terms of the calculation. So here, this is the minimum angle of angular spreading in this problem, all right? This was also, the angle of resolution in the other problems is equal to 1.22 multiplied then by the wavelength of the particular electromagnetic radiation, all right, then divided by the diameter, okay? And then the other problems is the diameter of the aperture. In this problem, it's the diameter of the flashlight beam. Huh. So it's basically the same thing. So there's 1.22 times then that wavelength of 600 nanometers, but you know we need that in meters, so simply take that and multiply it by 10 to the minus 9th and divide that by the diameter, but make sure that that is in uh, meters, okay? Because you have to have consistent units there. Obviously, you don't need meters, but since they're both different, it's just easier to convert everything, in my opinion, to meters, but you don't have to do that. Just like most physics or all physics problems, uh, there's many ways to do it. So after you plug that in, hopefully I didn't get distracted by talking at the same time as I'm calculating. This would be 1.46 times 10 to the minus 5, and that would be in terms of, by the way, radians. All right, radians. Um, all right. So, yeah, that takes care of that. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope this helps. And if you can, subscribe, like, tell your friends. We'll see you soon. Bye.